Hey everyone, it is Seek on the Speed 252 back today with another episode. Um, I'm super excited to bring this to you all. I know a lot of y'all have already asked why I done this, how I done this, when do I do this. I know some of you have already seen it at a YouTube call out. I want to make a video about this, so I want to bring it to your attention because yes, I done it. I know some people was like, why would you do that to a Corvette? You know, why would you do anything to a car? You do it because you like it. You do it because you want to. You do it because it's yours. You do it because it makes a difference in the car and it looks and the appeal of it. And for me, if you ask anybody, all of my friends, any of the subscribers that met me, I'm a unique, different type of guy. I mean, I may bring out something. You'd be like, whoa, why the heck did he do that? Or that should look pretty good. And so for me, I mean, you know, it's all about trial and error, right? You do something, if you like it, you stay with it. If you don't do something, and you uh, if you do something, you don't like it, and you just remove it. That's all it is in the day. Now, I don't do things that I can't remove, but I do things that is gonna make me happy, make the car stand a little bit more, and, you know, I don't have a great time. So, uh, if you are watching this right now, you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And it's a lovely day out here. We are out here making an episode of Sea Going Speed 252. I greatly appreciate it. All the birds, all the planes, all the buses, all the cars, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. So today we're going to talk about something that I added to the car right before the YouTube call out. Now, some of you all came out and you saw this and you were like, hey, we didn't even know you had did this. You're right. I never mentioned that I was going to do it. One of my friends was like, hey, you should do this with your car. And literally in the process of him texting me that I was literally getting the work done at that time. And so uh, I just it was just I thought it was just going to be something different. So um, let me explain to you why I did this. And if you are watching this, you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'd love to have you part of the community. We will all love that you part of the community. This is a growing community. We have an awesome time chatting with each other. Great feedback, great information. So please subscribe, please hit that bell button because parents got a lot of great things coming your way. And I'm super excited to be doing this today. So back on to the topic at hand. So I've always, so my dream car, heck, it's starting to change a lot at this point. Um, oh, let's get this plane as it comes. There it is. Can you see it? So beautiful. Sweet. Anyways, I love the way planes, you know, go across the sky and I love the sound of it each and every time. You guys see any of my buddies. I almost got hit by a car once recording a plane. That sounds silly, but hey, I'm just telling you the honest truth here. I'm an honest guy. Um, anyways, so, you know, a lot of people came to YouTube call and was like, hey, we didn't know you did this. You didn't make a video on it. I was like, yeah, I did it because it was a surprise. I wanted to surprise the followers and subscribers who came out to the YouTube call out. And then, you know, over time, I was going to release this video about why I did this. So let me go ahead and give you an overview of what I did to the car already. So you were kind of already now. Take a look. Now, a lot of people were like, why would you do this to a Corvette? This isn't a Lamborghini. And everybody knows my dream car is a Lamborghini. It has changed a decent amount from a Lamborghini to a McLaren. Um, I never really had interest in ever owning a Ferrari. I just don't know if, if that car suits me, but I do love the way they look. Um, but I'm a, Lamborghini, I'm a Lamborghini type of guy, and I definitely, definitely love the McLarens now. Like, I'm head over heels for those things. And my homeboy, Mike, uh, you know, Put some in his video, uh, you know, Street Speed 717, uh, Brink of Speed, and my homeboy Jason, front seat driver. Them guys are all about those McLarens, and so let me get it wrong now. I'm thinking about it now, too. But you know, one thing that come with the McLarens and the Lamborghinis are the suicide doors. And you know, for me, I'm like, well, I don't have a lot of money, and I kind of want some suicide doors. And we all know Mike, you know, created a video with his Z06, he put suicide doors on his car. We actually use both. We both used the same company, which was Vertical Doors out in California. Let me give him a big old shout out because that's the whole purpose of this video as well. As long as surprise you all of what I did to the car, um, definitely. Now, I was skeptical about this because I was going back and forth with my crew like, hey, should I do this? Should I not do this? Some of my friends was like, Clarence, don't do it. It's gonna mess up your car. Some of my friends like, man, it's gonna look freaking great. I think it suits the car well. And they, had some, they, they were just like, you know, I don't think it's something you should do. But you know, for me, I'm different. I gotta always be different. So for me, I was like, hey, let me figure out something I can do to my car to make it stand above the rest. Hint, hint, which is why I get people saying this car like a Lamborghini. Like there's been plenty of times, a lot of you know, at least four or five times already, it was like, man, that's a sweet Lamborghini. It's because of the doors. Now, even with the car, with its normal style, with the doors, if the doors wasn't in that position, they still would consider it being a Lamborghini. I don't know why, maybe they just don't know a lot about cars, but it is what it is. But. I got the suicide doors because I thought it was gonna make my car look different above the rest. Now I have seen other Corvettes that definitely had the Lamborghini doors. I haven't seen many. I seen Mike. I seen one guy in a local area. 
I seen um, a couple of guys on their YouTube channels that had Lamborghini doors, and I just think it looks great. Like I think like it makes the car really pops, and it make it look even more exotic than it already does, right? Because this car gets this like, oh, it looks like a Ferrari from a distance, especially if it was red. It looks like this, looks like that. But now for me, my car stands out. And so a lot of people's like, well, you know, the doors is going to rub against each other. I don't know if you want to do that, but honestly, you know, Carolina Carolina Auto Concepts is who that was recommended to install these for me. They did a great job on them. Nothing bad to say. They took care of me. Grass was great. The owner of the company was freaking he was freaking amazing. Like he took care of me. Hands down, I would definitely use them again for anything else. They do a lot of good things. So check them out Carolina Auto Concepts. Um I don't know if Carolina drove my car down there. Uh, and I honestly didn't even know I had a place to stay. I just drove it down there because I knew it was gonna do the work. The, the owner of the company took me to a hotel. I stayed there for the night. He picked me back up the next morning and you know, I picked my car up and I drove it back home. But, you know, they took him a day and a half to install this. They worked on this car just by itself. They took their time, they did a great job and I greatly appreciate the work they did. And shout out to Vertical Doors for um, sending me this kit. They actually uh, gave me a small sponsorship to, you know, to do this and put it on the car. And I was just really, really excited to get it on before the YouTube call out. So let me go ahead and break it down to you. A lot of people say, you know, does it really make you that happy to have these doors on your car? Heck yeah, 110% it does. Anytime I lift this door in the air, I'm telling you right now, it turned heads every single time. Now the car turned heads by itself without even me having to even do this, but it even turns more heads now than it did before. And I'm just gonna say like the Corvette, Grand Sport, Stingray, Z06, Z01, even if I had a Z01, I would have done the same exact thing. I don't care because I want my car to be different, right? This, when you buy a car, you buy a car for yourself. You don't buy a car for everyone else. Let me repeat that. When you buy a car, you buy a car for yourself. You don't buy a car for everyone else. But Angela, let me give you a perfect example. I'm a car guy, hands down. I'm just a guy that loves cars. Like, I, I'm telling you right now, I love cars so much that when somebody said, hey, clients, I'm ready to go buy a new car. I'm like, what are you going to buy? They'd be like, I'm going to buy a Prius. All right, I'm in. I'm going, to, I'm going with you. I'm going, we're going to test drive this Prius. We're going to make sure that bad boy is good to go. We're going to test drive this Prius. I'm a car guy. Like, and once again, if, if you even if you own a Prius, don't be ashamed of it. I own a Prius. That's my daily driver. I say gas don't the gate. I, I, that's if you own a Prius, don't be ashamed about it. I own a Prius. I save gas doing the gate. I save gas doing the day. If you own a Prius, don't don't be ashamed about it. I own a Prius. I daily driving. I save gas during the day and burn gas at night, buddy. That's exactly what I do. So don't be ashamed about it. A car is a car. You, you know, it gets you from point A to point B. It depends on how much love you have for that car. You got some people that really just want a car to get from point A to point B, and I want a car that get me from point A to point B, but I can also have fun in. Another example I'm going to give you is I'm not a, I'm not really a house person. I'm I'm a I'm a car person, right? This is my motto, and all my friends love it. Um, but you know, everybody sees it differently. For me, I'm going to point back at the car because I love to have that thing behind me. Um, I don't know if the sun is in glaring and all that crap, and I don't know how exactly this is holding out for me, but. Anyways, for me, my motto is a house and a car, right? Most people say, I'd rather have a nice house than have a nice car. For me, I'm the opposite, the complete opposite, which is why I'm unique and different. The reason why I have this channel. Um, tell you a little bit about myself, I'm the complete opposite. I don't, I don't rather have a nice house than a nice car. I'd rather have a nice car than a nice house. Why? Let me give you my one reason why I'd rather have a nice car than a nice house. Not everybody comes to your house. I don't care what type of apartment you have. I don't care if you have a hundred million dollar house out in Bel Air. I mean, you can have a hundred million dollar house out in Miami. And those are the ones you really don't need to see that often anyways. But like I said, if you can have a house and you can have it dressed up the way you want. You can have built doors, you can have all the additions, all this stuff. Not everybody in the world sees your house. But when you out and about, everybody sees your car. Hands down, simple as that. I mean, I can, I, I mean, I can literally go out and drive this car everybody will spot it down on everybody will see it everybody gonna see this car not everybody sees my house not everybody sees my apartment not everybody sees where you know where i stay so for me i'd rather own a nice car than have a nice house and i really don't have that nice of a place to live but i do have a nice car and i appreciate this car i get smiles on my face and i like to see other people's smiles when they see things like this and you know this has been a dream of mine's come true and, and as much as i would love to have this grand sport a lot faster i would love to have it supercharged by callaway um, you know, I spoke to Hennessy once they reached out to me I would love to have it supercharged and have it a lot faster than it is currently now And I would love to have those come to you know, do the service for me because I can actually keep my warranty Which would be great by the way. So Callaway or Hennessy if you're watching this, please uh, I would love a sponsorship in some way or form and I would love to have this car supercharged with you all and I'm totally will represent you all all the way Anyways back to the uh, to the video in hand 
So the suicide door. So a lot of people say, you know, how does this actually function? How did this work? And I let a few subscribers actually get in and um, you know test out the doors and test out the, test out how it works. And so it's simple. It works just like any other laminated doors on any other car, right? So for me, when I get in, I grab it by the handle right here. I bring it down and I close it. That's it. That's it. And the same way, you know, and and I open it back up right here sorry for the video moving so much i'm trying to do everything at once and i pull it back up again it works just like that there's no no extraness there's no 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 problems or nothing like that and to be honest with you, you don't even have to open up the car door like that in order to get in and out to be completely honest with you like perfect example i can open up my car right now just like this and get the heck in the car and i'll be just fine so i don't need to actually lift this door up in order to get in the car i really don't now a lot of people was like i don't know how strong this kit is i don't know if it's that strong a material blase blase well just like anything in the world if it's anything man-made it's going to wear out over time it's going to break down you're going to have issues right that's just the way it goes and i didn't build this kit so i can't tell you how long this kit will last but i can tell you one thing this kit right now, based off the kit I'm looking at, it is super strong. Let's go ahead down here and take a look at this. Now, as you see, you have these these plates, and I mean, them joints are super, super, super thick. Like this is thick metal. Like this ain't no no plastic um, things put together, blase blase. This is some really thick, thick metal. And and as you can see right here, like I mean, it's no joke. And it bolts on in a factory in a, in a factory spot. So it's not like you have to drill anything out or cut a, cut some off that's gonna be stupid crazy and cause to have issues. These bolt back on in the same factory spot. So you get to the point where you get tired of these doors, you can take them off, the kit off, and put your old kit back on. I still have my old kit at home right now. So if I want to say, hey, I'm done with these doors, I can put them back on. But my doors open up the same way, and why would I want to take them off when they look freaking crazy? Now I know some people aren't gonna like them. They was like, why did you do that to a Corvette? It's a Corvette, it's not a Lamborghini. Why would you put doors on it? Well, there's a Lamborghini that don't have Lamborghini doors. Perfect example, the Lamborghini Huracan. That doesn't come with Lamborghini doors at all, but as a Lamborghini, am I right or wrong? I'm right. So at the end of the day, you buy a car for yourself. You do things for yourself. You do what makes you happy. And that's the way I live life. That's the way everyone should live life. Do what makes you happy at the end of the day and nothing else really matters. Be a good citizen, be a great person, and do what makes you happy. That's, that's the model I go by. And you know, you can ask any of the followers that met me at a YouTube call out, at events that Mike and them had, uh, in public. I have met some subscribers came to me out in public and say, hey, I watch your YouTube channel. If you watch my YouTube channel and you see me out in public, I don't care if I'm on a date, I don't care if I'm you know, with family, come to me and say hello, because I would love to meet you, because I won't meet you unless you come to me. And so you all know I'm super nice. I'll spend every bit of time I can with you and let's make it happen. So yes, I installed Lemmingini doors on my Corvette and I think it looks freaking great. I don't care what anyone says. I can have 10 people out of 10 people say, man, that joint look crappy. I'm gonna be the one guy that says, well, you're not the one that's driving it. So I don't have to worry about that. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, it just brings joy to my heart to know that I finally have Lamborghini doors because I can't afford a Lamborghini. I can't afford a McLaren. Now at some point, do I hope I get there? Yeah, possibly. Um, I'm hoping the YouTube channel kind of grows and you know everyone is watching this, subscribe to the channel and be part of the community and give feedback and watch the videos. And hopefully at some point I will be monetized like Mike and those guys. And obviously I won't be making as much money as those guys by YouTube, but you know, just enough to make good content for you all and, and keep the good things coming and keep the excitement and keep the energy and just keep moving on and on and on. And I know this video is kind of long, but I just enjoy talking to you all. And I enjoy, I just enjoy just being able to do this. And, and I'm just super excited. So, you know, thank you all for watching this video. Um, leave your comments down below what you think about Lemmingini Doors. I know some people are going to say they don't like it. I understand. That's completely fine. But I want your true, honest opinion. What do you think about the Lemmingini Doors being on my Corvette Grand Sport? Do you think it brings, like, an anxiety look to the car? Do you think it takes away from the car? Do you think it's just something I shouldn't have done? But you know, give me your opinion. Cause me personally, with the chrome wrap and the limiting doors, it actually make it look way more exotic than you think. I honestly think that if this car was in Dubai, based on what it looks like right now with the chrome wrap and the limiting doors, it'd be looking great. Look how shiny it looks. Look how shiny that chrome wrap looks right now. It looks freaking crazy to me. So at the end of the day, I did want to make this video for Vertical Doors who sponsored me with the kit. 
thank you all for doing that. I also want to thank Carolina Carolina Auto Concepts for actually putting these on for me. They do great work out of North Carolina. I greatly appreciate the owner, the company, for helping me through that situation. Is getting down there and finding a place to stay for the night, the hotel, and all, everything like that. So, um, at the end of the day, I want to give those shout outs. I greatly appreciate it. If you are watching this and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do a letter. You're part of the community. Um, please hit that bell beside the subscribe button as well. Can't get my words out today. I don't know why. Please subscribe and hit that bell button to right beside it so you can become part of the community and chime in and get all the information that everybody provides. There's a lot of smart people on this channel. I mean, a lot of smart people. Uh, I ask questions. They ask questions. We get feedback. We go back and forth all the time. And, you know, a bad question is not a good question. I mean, well, that doesn't make any sense. A bad question is a question that I answer at all. So if there's a question you want to ask me, feel free to ask, um, you know, down in the comments below. But my question to you all is, do you think... How do you think these Lamborghini doors look on this Corvette Grand Sport? Once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I do have merch available. I would love to see some of y'all with some Seek on the Speed 252 shirts out there. Seek on the Speed 252 posters and bags and all that good stuff. And I'm looking forward to growing with you all and having a great time. And let's take this channel to the top. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next episode. Seek on the Speed 252 is out.